Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Twitty. And if you've watched any of my fragrance videos before, you will know that I am a complete fresh and clean girly when it comes to fragrances. So I am really, really shocked at what I'm going to share with you guys today. And that is Mind Games Queening. So if you're new to Mind Games, I think a lot of us are because it is a newer brand. It was exclusively sold to Neiman's in fall of 2022 and I was introduced to it in 2023 so last year and I immediately fell in love with the brand. I happened to be on a trip with a friend and she was wearing Checkmate by Mind Games and it just smelled so good on her. I was like, girl, what are you wearing? What is this? And when she gave me a sample of Checkmate and I saw Mind Games, it was just something I'd never heard of. So I immediately Googled it. I saw that it was at Neiman's or on Mind Games website and that was it. There wasn't really a lot of information or anything about the brand, but I immediately was attracted to it because I just love the sophistication of the smell. I also love the fact that the fragrances are designed after chess pieces and the bottles have you know they're supposed to mimic chess pieces and it really speaks to our interactions as humans and our behaviors and how we interact with each other so I just thought the entire concept was cool so if you're here because you just love fragrances or you want to know more about mind games or you specifically are looking for a review on queening by mind games please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, so here is the fragrance we're discussing today, which is Queening by Mind Games. And guys, I'm completely shocked because this is not a fragrance that I would typically find myself going for at all. I love fresh and clean fragrances, and this is actually a vanilla fragrance by Mind Games. And I just never thought that I would ever be attracted to a vanilla fragrance. They are typically not for me. I have a very sensitive nose and fragrances can really like upset my um, senses, my nose. It can give me a headache. Um, and it's something that like I wish were different because I know people have these huge, huge, huge perfume collections, but I'm pretty grateful because if you watch my channel, you know that I could collect a lot of like bags, shoes, and clothes already. I don't need to have another thing that I add to the collection. So I am grateful that um, my perfume collection is limited in that sense, but um, I just never thought that I would go for a vanilla scent. They're typically a little too sweet and too powdery for me that I find it to be quite irritating until I came across this specific one. Um, I'll put the notes on the screen for you guys so that you can get a um, idea of the palette. But if you notice that first note actually starts with a clean cotton. And I think that's why I was initially attracted to this scent. When I was trying it on in the store and you spritz and you get that initial hint, it's very clean, it's very fresh, and that really appeals to my senses. Then it begins to dry down and you get that really beautiful vanilla scent. And they also have that Oris in there, which is actually a derivative of iris and it has a powdery scent and so again powdery is typically a no-no for me but somehow mind games has got it where they have been able to really balance the clean with the vanilla and the powdery scent and it just creates such a beautiful sophisticated uh feminine scent to me it is just absolutely gorgeous it's actually sexy like it's just like so beautiful um to me this is a evening or nighttime scent um i prefer really fresh and clean scents during the day and then in the evening that's when i like to kind of add some warmth or depth to things i don't really like it um during the daytime so i find myself wearing this in the evening and it is absolutely perfect to transition from early evening to late nights. This is absolutely gorgeous. Because I do tend to wear lighter scents, I find myself like spritzing multiple um, sprays, but with this one, I only need 
to. Sometimes if it's like date night or something like that, I will spritz some more because I just love to like really project and exude that scent. But for most nights, um, I find myself being just fine with two to three spritz. Mind Games fragrances are very concentrated and they're, you know, pretty highly suspended in the oil so that you do get a really, really, really great concentration of the scent and it projects really well to where you actually don't need a ton of it and that I love as well because with the price tag these are an investment um, but I love for it to also have a lot of like great lasting power staying power and that it projects so that um, other people are able to smell it as well on me I love to be able to walk by and people are like mm, she smells good what is that what is she wearing and I feel like I definitely get that with this um, not only do I only need a few sprays and it lasts me all evening which I love but I find that this doesn't irritate my sensitive nose a lot now when I do douse myself for those of you that have a sensitive nose you will find that but that's just the case of having a sensitive nose right if you use anything in excess it's bound to irritate you so I would say if you have a sensitive nose like myself just start off with two to three spritz see how you do um, and more than likely that will be enough for you. You don't have to be extra. These fragrances are meant to be unisex. I feel like it smells absolutely delicious and I have not smelled it on a man yet but I do feel like I could tell that this would smell good on a man. It doesn't lean too much feminine or masculine to me. I feel like it's the perfect just kind of like clean warm vanilla scent. Um, I never even thought I'd use those words together, but it is kind of like that great, just like light, fresh, but also warm vanilla-y at the same time. And I can totally see this smelling equally as good on a man as it does a woman. And then let's talk about when I would wear this as far as the seasons go. So I was actually gifted this on Christmas and I spent that Christmas in Hawaii and it was warm island weather as you would imagine and I wore the fragrance of course because it was new and I loved it. I had no problems. I felt like it was perfect for an evening fragrance. Um, I even traveled directly from Hawaii to Turks and Caicos, wore it on that vacation as well where it was very hot and humid. Still wore this as an evening scent. I loved it and I felt like it stayed fresh throughout the night um, and was still just like a really 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 beautiful scent. I feel like it even the warm vanilla um, really complemented the warm weather really well and so I really love that because typically when I think of vanilla and warmer scents I think of those for like the cold months or cold locations but for this I would easily wear it like I did on a hot vacation, a summer night, um, as well as in the fall and winter during those cold nights as well. So for me, I see this really as a year-round warm fragrance. Now, I don't know if that's just because I love a clean scent all year round, um, so it's really easy for me to kind of, you know, just add a little warmth to that and be able to wear it. Even though I've only had it two months, I've been able to experience wearing it in cold weather in the States as well as in really warm weather internationally. And I loved it equally in both climates. So to me, that's an indicator that I can wear it pretty much all year round um, and just grab it whenever I want like a nice vanilla powdery scent, um, regardless of the location or the time of year. And as far as the bottle goes, if you just enjoy really beautiful things or you are a perfume collector you will absolutely love mind games bottles they are all the same except they have a different top and the top piece is supposed to mimic a check a chess piece don't ask me what piece this is I do not play chess but the bottles are absolutely stunning they are made of really really heavy thick glass which I love that makes it feel really luxe and high-end you've also got these really beautiful silver accents and then there's also a gorgeous 
little wood topper on the top that's made of sustainable wood. And I just love, not only is the fragrance sophisticated and complex, but even the bottle, you can tell they put so much thought and complexity into the design and the materials that are used to just really give it a beautiful high-end luxe feel that complements the product inside and the price tag. All right, you guys, so that is my review on Queening by Mind Games. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you are a clean, fresh scent girly, this is your clean, vanilla scent for you okay like I never thought we'd be able to say this but here we are and I am so happy that I'm able to add a vanilla scent to my collection um, if you're new to mind games and you're just kind of like trying to figure out where to start another fragrance that I smelled recently by them is French defense and it is a deep cherry scent it smells like to me I describe it as this is what Tom Ford lost cherry was supposed to smell like um it smells like a beautiful chocolate covered cherry and like the good cherries not those like basic cherries like the ones that are soaked in brandy and like all the good stuff then dipped in like the best chocolate that's what it smells like it is so delicious I cannot wait to get my hands on that fragrance because I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since the day I smelled it. So definitely check that out. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Also comment down below. Let me know, have you tried Mind Games? Are you looking to try it? What's your favorite scent by them? Let's talk in the comments. And don't forget to also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. And as a matter of fact, I will leave some of my fragrance videos here for you to check out. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.